Welcome back to the Talos Principle. I ended the last episode having just gained entrance to the Star Room. And before I get back to that, I want to cover something that I just checked out real quick. So this is back at this BSOD computer. The one in, what is it, Zone... I don't really have a formalized name for this. It's, it's in Hub Area 1, Zone 7. And this is the computer where I Google, Googled the error message and figured out that this is a kind of like fake BSOD kind of thing. And anyway, uh, a viewer suggested that maybe I can press the button on the front of this computer to reset it. So I just wanted to check that out real quick because it sounded very plausible because that button really does stick out the way it's glowing like that. But unfortunately, it seems like you can't. There's no prompt and even if I press the use key on it, it doesn't actually do anything. So unfortunately, it looks like you cannot reset it. Oh well. It was worth a try. Okay, so back to the star room. Let's see what's going on here. Those are some weird ones. Specifically, human blood and... Uh, pound six underscore n star star dot image. Um... Let's go with Talos. You know what I just realized? <laughs> I can't believe it took me this long to realize this. It doesn't really matter, but the uh, the file extensions, the dot emls, that's dot that's dot email. I just realized that. All the ones with .eml file extensions are emails. Anyway. From Alexandra Drennan, Pneumatics Mailing List, The Talos Principle. Have you heard of The Talos Principle? It's this old philosophical concept about the impossibility of avoiding reality, no matter what you believe. If you lose your blood, you will die. I think that applies to our current situation more than we'd like to admit. We could close our eyes and pretend that everything's going to be alright, but it won't change the physical reality of what's going to happen to our... I think that, as scientists, it is our duty to face the truth, and to ask ourselves the most important question. How can we help? Okay, this seems like a very important email, and there's a lot to translate, but I'm going to translate that after I check out the rest, because there might be more to translate, and I want to do it all in one big pass. Archive Important, from Arkady Cherna something, 504 recipients, I'll keep this short, you, wait, I think I've already read this, I'll keep this short, you all know me so you know that I know what I'm talking about, I realize that you're all working on projects meant to somehow avert the catastrophe we're facing, but you almost can see that there's a very real possibility that you will not have enough time to find a solution. I believe that we cannot afford to ignore an, an extinction or near extinction scenario. We must prepare for the worst. That is to say, we must seek to preserve the non-biological components of what constitutes the human species, in the hope they may be recovered in the future by other, local or non-local, sentients. I know that we are not used to thinking on that scale, not in terms of praxis, but if we truly value humanity, then we must act immediately. You'll find the details of my proposal in the attachment. But the short version is this. The creation of multiple archives, for redundancy, in safe locations that will contain, in digital form, as much information about our species, including all cultural works, scientific insights, history, DNA, as can be gathered in the given time frame. This will be massive. This will be a massive global undertaking. With EL naturally being one of the... Okay, that's also a very, very important email. Cannot afford to ignore an extinct extinction or near extinction scenario. So, in the event that whatever problem they're facing truly wipes out humanity, they wanted to preserve the non-biological non -biological components of what constitutes the human species. 
so they wanted to preserve our in intelligence, our humanity, and of course, also all of our all of our works, all of our pieces of art and whatnot. So not only does it just have storage for all of these books and everything, but it also has storage for what constitutes a human, or at least it's trying to recreate what constitutes a human, maybe? It's trying to preserve that, it's trying to preserve our brains basically, not our bodies. This is a very important email, this, this kind of um, illuminates a lot of what I was wondering about. Not everything, certainly not near everything, but quite a bit of it. It makes it very explicit what they were trying to do. Yeah, they're trying to preserve the non-biological components of what constitutes the human species. So that sounds like that... It sounds like this project was not meant to save... Well... It, it wasn't meant to save humanity in the sense that it wasn't meant to save what... Existed of humanity? It's not meant to prevent the human race from... Dying out? Well, kinda. It's not meant to save the people that are left behind. It's meant to... Leave a, a seed that could be grown in the future. So in, in a way, it is saving humanity, but not exactly in the... You know, I'm gonna die, you just save me, now I'm not kind of thing. The people that become extinct or die out or whatever are obviously still going to die. But it's meant to preserve humanity. Human blood. It is said that... It is said by some that our blood is composed of infinite living agents which go up and down the highways and byways of our bodies as people in the streets of a city. Something, something, something. One generation passeth away and another generation cometh. But the earth abideth forever. And the sleep of the town, how, how lifelike with its change in the circulation. Samuel Butler. We are misled by considering any complicated machine as a single thing. In truth, it is a city or society, each member of which was bred truly after its kind. Alright, there's a lot of stuff to translate here. A lot of hexadecimal. So this is an image. Okay. That's an image of the tower. Why? Could this be somehow giving me part of the password to one of the upper floors? It's pointing to the second floor. Because this is the bottom floor, this is the thing at the bottom floor, this is the second floor. And the name of the image is... Pound 6 underscore N star star. I think it's related to the password. Well, I shouldn't say THE password, because there's actually a, a separate password for every single floor. Starting from 3 and up. Hmm. Alright, let me do some translating and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the translations done. Let's start with Talos. This is by far the biggest one. Okay, so there's three separate blocks to translate. Small one up here, and then this one, and then this bigger one. And they translate to this. So the first one is this part. That's this. And then this next big block is this. And then... Oh, no, no. This, yeah, this whole, this whole block. All of that is this. And then this last little part here is this. 
Now, these sentences don't appear to be relevant to what's actually happening in the sentence next to the hexadecimal. Rather, they all seem to be related to each other. So if you look at, if you just put all the pieces together, no man is liberated from fear who dare, who dare. No man can achieve the great, and then just kind of ends. So no man is liberated from fear who dare. No man can achieve the probably greatness is probably what it said. So it's not actually related directly to what's happening inside of the text, but it is related to itself. Okay, now uh, next one. Is it human blood, I think? Uh, yes. So there's two translations, one here, and then one here, and that translates to... And the word was made flesh. And then the last one I have here, for archive important, there's not much to translate here, I just translated this little error message up here. Error 4731 blah 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 blah, and that just translates to G126. Don't think that really means anything, but uh, there you go. Switch back to the other scene here, there we go, okay. Yeah, so this is very curious. This picture. I think the picture is just telling me that this is related to the passwords to get to the floors. I think that's it. So I think it's the file name I need to pay attention to. Number six underscore n star star. And there's also a sign back here that's kind of... looks a little bit like it. Nine star star. Like, it's, it's part of a password, I guess? Like, the first digit? I don't know. Alright, so what is up with this place and its gray puzzles? You come this far, but I believe we must seek out the secrets of this world if we want to truly serve the generations to come. I think I already read that. I can't quite remember. What is that? <gasps> oh! It's beautiful! That must be how I get inside of the areas that are covered by wood! Can I chop down a tree? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can chop down trees? Do I want to? I don't really have a reason to chop it down other than pure curiosity. Sure, why not? Oh my god. I... Is this a figurative axe? Because, I mean, the tree got deleted. After I chopped it down. You know, you could take that multiple ways, actually. The fact that the tree got deleted after I chopped it down could mean that this is a figurative axe, and in reality what I'm doing is modifying code. So even though I'm... Even though in the, in the game world I'm chopping down a tree, maybe in reality I'm just, like, deleting code. You know, because an axe is uh, a thing of destruction, basically. At least when it's used in this context. But it could also simply mean that... Maybe it's just Elohim or whatever garbage collection algorithm or something might be running is just cleaning up the the dead stuff. So maybe it's just garbage collection. Oh God, I hope. Well, I mean, you can make your own garbage collection. But my first thought when I thought of garbage collection was, is this written in Java? Because I really hope it's not written in Java. Because if you're putting like the 
continuation of the human species into a digital form and you're kind of programming it and you're creating you're programming the world to carry the human species on past their extinction if you're doing that you really don't want to program it in java please don't because then humanity is just gonna disappear forever you're fucked Okay, well, let's go see if... There's two There's two particular things I want to know about this. One is, can this knock down wood? Like, this wood. Yes. Okay, that is awesome. And that is good to know. Now, here's the other thing I want to know. Can I take it with me? No? Does it reset back, or does it just, like, fall on the ground? Where does it go? Oh, it resets back. So how do I chop down the wood in the other places? Does the wood regenerate? It does. Huh. Interesting. All right. This is a strange, strange place. This is a neat little hidden area. Secrets? No secrets, huh? Okay, okay. been using these messages because I just don't know what the point of it is. Sometimes you have to find the courage to break down the barriers with an axe. Can I take it through? No. Dum Dum Mine? <laughs> Why is this place called Dum Dum Mine? Alright, well, let's extricate this jammer from here. Come with me, please. Thank you. I just like holding this axe. It makes me feel powerful. Compensates for my tiny robot penis. Alright, I know from experience that that thing makes you shoot crazy far over there. I need to go into one of these puzzles ro puzzle rooms. Alright, let's try this one. Nerve Wrecker. That doesn't sound good. I'm assuming all of the puzzles in this place need to be broken given how kind of exotic it is. I mean, if you got all the stars, then they know that you know how to game the system. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Okay, so what am I trying to do? 
Okay, I did something. I don't know if that's a good thing, but it's definitely something. Um. Oh no! Well, if I had an extra jammer in here, that would be nice. I obviously need to, like, get all of these or some of them into one place. Crap. No. Well, eh. That worked, I guess. Shit. Nope. Gah. No wonder this is called a nerve wrecker. Okay, what am I trying to do? Okay, so I'll let them come through. Okay, see what I'm trying to do. Damn it! That's too slow! It's gonna work though, I just need to be faster. What? No, oh, shit! It didn't work, hold on. Okay. Oh, oh, I let one through, what the hell? Alright, that's easy to fix. Step one down. Just, like, three more to go. Okay, I can let you in. Let's get you out of the way. I'm gonna let you through. Damn it. Bouncing off of it before it actually hits it. It's weird. Okay. That certainly helps. So I can't get these out because they hit the wall, not a force field. So, can I go between them? No. Which means I'm going to need to use a jammer on one of them. But then I'm also going to need to use a jammer on the force field. And I'm going to need a jammer inside, which means I need to get both of my jammers inside first and then stop one of them. Okay. So I need to do this. to let the center one through. Uh, hold on. Let's get you more over here. Can I... Uh, if I let the center one through, I don't know if I can actually stay away from it enough. I'm about to find out. Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Shit. Hmm. You know, I might as well just let the center one through, right? 
There we go. Simplifies things. Which means now I need to do... Oh, I need to do this so I can get this over here. All right. Oh, you know what I can do? Hold on. I know what I can do. Let's let this go a little bit further. Okay, I'm gonna need to unjam this to just get through the force field, so why don't I just set it here so I... So this thing just bounces between the thing that's unjamming that. There we go. So I'll be safe here. Perfect. Two birds with one stone. Oh god. And there we go. Just be super careful here. Alright, so that unlocks number six. N number six what? I, I don't know what this is for. How very, very strange. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, but it wasn't, it wasn't too hard. That one was less about thinking and more about kind of just timing. More about dexterity. Jammed from within. Okay, need the keys. I wonder if I can, like, chop down trees and they'll fall on stuff and, like, break things. I wonder. Alright, so Jammer's opening up that. Sealing myself in here. Hmm. Hmm. Doing that means... I can't just run out there because that thing's going to kill me, but I can do this. Well, no, that doesn't help either. Oh no, it does help. This is very suspiciously close to allowing me to get over. so I can get through, but then I have to leave my jammer behind. Oh god. Oh, no! I thought I had enough room! <gasps> Shit.
Oh. Damn it! I just missed it. Patience is the key. Probably should not have put that there. One second, I need to fix my mistakes. I want this thing to actually go back. Give me a bit more room to maneuver. There we go. Over this, there's no coming back. Ah. They're so close. All right, second jammer, nice. Two sets of keys. Um. I, I think I need to get my other jammer, don't I? Well, no. No, I think I just need to shove everything in that room, I guess. So let's just let him go through. <laughs> things going diagonals. That may be a mistake that I regret later, but for now it seems to work. One set of keys to what? Okay. Which means I can take this with me. Was, was there more over here? No, just a dead end. Okay. Is there another one on the other side? There is. Shit. And I have to do this with no jammers. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. One jammer and a set of keys that needs to go... where? Where do the keys go? Isn't it all the way back in the beginning? Yes, so I need to let these things back through.
Okay, clears that up. Can't climb while carrying an item. God damn it. Why aren't you more dexterous, you damn robot? Alright, might as well leave that open, I suppose. Doesn't really matter. Key. Key goes where? Where key? There we go. Nice. Another gray thing for a gray something. For a gray somewhere. Done and done. Any more poozles in this area? Just one more. Dum dum mine. What is a mine of dum dum? I don't know what that means. I do think I can jump on this though. Hmm. Don't think that helps me though. Nope, that does not help me. Anyway, let's figure out what the problem is before I try to jump on random crap. Alright, so we got keys again. Minigun. Or turret thing, whatever you want to call it. It's a minigun turret. Okay, so inside there are the keys to open up here, which goes somewhere to something. Um, they seem to have given me nothing to start with. <laughs> I don't have any jammers or anything. Maybe that's where the extra jammer comes in, into play? In fact, was it this area that the uh, the thing launched me to? Let me see. Wait, I can jam it? Why would I want to? Ooh! Ah, it is, okay. So here's my starting piece. Which should allow me to go get the keys pretty easily. Just let the thing out. Run in. Yoink! Give this place a look over. Hmm. Wait, did it just change direction? I want to see where that thing goes. It looks like it wasn't just going straight. I think it went down the path. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hitting the tree. What a coincidence. What a strange coincidence. I am going to eventually need that thing to blow up the minigun that I saw, aren't I? Well, let's just go prep that then.
timber. Thing on through. Clear out its pathway. Might need to knock this one down too. No! Quickly! I need another pair of keys, or does the same one unlock this? Oh, it does, okay. Come on through, my friend! Whoa! What'd you hit? Why is it going back? I don't understand. Why? What happened to displease you so? I guess it hit the axe or something? The axe- oh god, oh, no! Shit! Hold on. There we go. Whew. Just saved a whole lot of time there. Yeah, because I hit the axe on the ground or something. Let's watch the fireworks show. Now there was somewhere I thought I could jump up on a thing. Where was that? I think it was in here, right? Yeah, I was thinking I might be able to jump up on these. Ooh. Mm, I think it might be rejecting me. Yeah. It's one of those weird slippery surfaces. So that's not going to happen. Okay, I think we're done with this place for now. Actually, is, is that it? I think that might be it. According to the signs, that's all the gray pieces. Hmm. I wonder if I can somehow take that axe between level transitions. How, though? Alright, so that gives me a good view of the place, which should allow me to see anything huge that I'm missing. I wish I could, <laughs> I wish I could like, pause the game or something. I mean, I could do this, but that doesn't allow me to see, because I want to look, uh, stuff, secrets, I don't know. It's too fast. I 
can't tell. It's way too fast. If only I had bullet time or something. I mean, there, there certainly are, like, chambers that I haven't been into. But most of the time, those don't contain anything. I don't see anything jumping out at me. It's a big rock there. I don't know. Is that it? Is that all this place holds? Seems doubtful. It seems like there should be more. Ooh, hello. What's this? Oh, I've already been back here. Nothing. Hmm. I'm mighty suspicious. Whoa! Oh! F Jesus fucking Christ, that scared me. It's a mirror. Ugh. Oh. Don't do that to me, game. What the hell? I thought something was running after me. I was like, what the hell was that? Jesus. You know, I've never actually been able to see myself from the front before. The best I can do is do this. here to make me contemplate my humanity contemplate my existence I wonder if I can break it and what the hell does nine star star mean it's got to be related to this Oh. Oh no, here it is. I thought it was missing. Six underscore N star star. Let's try breaking the mirror. Is this a 58 inch or something? quite handsome with this in my hands. Can't seem to break it, though. Looks like the mirror has imperfect rendering. If you notice, um, what you see in the mirror doesn't actually have any grass on the ground. As you can see, there's actual grass, like blades of grass. Whereas in the mirror, there's not. Is it actually a mirror? I mean, could it be like a portal? I don't think so. Doesn't seem like it. Strange. I feel like there's more here. And I certainly haven't made a serious attempt at breaking the level. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Well, I took a look around and I couldn't find anything special. 
couldn't find a way to really get anywhere interesting as far as like getting up on the walls and stuff. I did cut down every single tree and bush that I could find, at least in this main part here, and just, just out of curiosity to see if that would do something. It didn't. I found a couple things that could have been leads, but ended up not being. Uh, one is this spot here, which turns out you can jump up to. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't quite let you over. Just not quite high enough. I don't see anything particularly interesting over there anyway. I did find a trick for getting up here. Um, oh, I got rid of it. But um, you can actually jump up here. Jump up here if you use the jammer. If you place the jammer like beneath you as you jump, it actually kind of like pops you up a little bit. So I got up here, but there's there's absolutely nothing up here. Just a dead wall. And then I got to thinking, maybe if I like run across this little strip here and then like jump into the fan, maybe that will like slow me down or something. But unfortunately, it did not. That's pretty much it. Um, I did find another spot to jump up on, but once again, it also did not do anything interesting. Didn't allow me to get anywhere interesting, and that's right here. Almost looks like you can, but you can't. There's really nowhere to jump to from here. And uh, this is the jammer trick, by the way. So if you just try to jump up, you can't. But if you do this... It allows you to. Just gives you a little bit of a boost. But yeah, there's nothing up here. And again, if you run into the van, it doesn't change anything. Whee! And no, there's no air control, so you can't slow yourself down mid-air. So as far as I can tell, that's it for this place. So what I really want to do is get this damn axe back with me. Now it disappears if I just go through the portal. Um, what if I drop it on the portal? That does not work. What if I drop it on the portal and then go in myself? Maybe it doesn't transport me necessarily, but everything that's on the portal? Okay, so that didn't work. It didn't... I grabbed it right before I actually went through, so let me not grab it. I feel like there's gotta be a way to get the axe in between places. not there. Because, I mean, otherwise, how am I going to find a freaking axe in that main hall there? Like, where would I even get it from? There's got to be a way. I have no idea. get the axe to open you up. I just realized something. There's no portal between going down here and going up the elevator to the other zones. Which means I could get the axe from any of the other... If I can get the axe from anywhere up here, you know, through the elevator in, in one of the other places, I could bring it down the elevator. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so maybe that is where I get the axe. 
yeah, there's no force field anything to prevent me from taking stuff up and down the elevator. Okay, so where was I before? Was I in C block or B block? I think it was B. Yeah, so if I can find an axe anywhere here, I could take it down to the first zone, the first hub area, use it there, and then I could take it back up here and then bring it back down to this C hub, which also has another thing that needs to be opened with an axe, I believe. Doesn't it? Wasn't there one? Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, I think this episode is probably overly long at this point, so I should probably end it. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon. <laughs>